It's yeah. six o'clock. Let's call the meeting over the meeting six. Um, adjustments to the agenda. Okay, adjustments to the agenda. Um, we're going to talk about the fire department invoice and MOU under the treasurer's uh, place, but maybe we should do it earlier. Since chances, are you are you guys here for something else or for? No, nope. well, we're going to talk about that. We're going to be here for that conversation, and, and like I said earlier, the EMD conversation. Okay. Um, but okay. we don't need to have that. We've already had that discussion. So, what do you want to do with that? We'll just. I, I think this will go pretty quickly. Yeah. And so, uh, but so then you had something. Other things. Yeah, I want to. When we get to the personnel policy, <clears throat> I think I'm going to suggest that we not do it tonight. Michael and I are going to sit down and work out a lot of the little things because that copy that came last week from him that VLCT had worked on, I had Pam print it out for me, but she didn't print out the wrong one, the right one. So she printed out the old one again. So the one that I gave you wasn't even the right one. Right. And uh, so um, what Michael and I thought was that within the next two weeks we would work on the little stuff and come to you and Brandy with the final things that actually need a decision made or need okay. uh, information okay. so let's supplied. Put the so what is the date of the one you're looking for? Uh, I don't have it printed out. Michael. This one. So no, it's not, it's not that February 21 one. No. This is February 8th of 21. No. This was the last to have the red highlights in it of what needs to be changed or what was changed and hasn't been approved by VLCT. Yeah, I don't know. That it doesn't look like either one of the ones that I have. Um, this has stuff crossed out. It's got new stuff put in. Mine both Perfect. say February 8, 2021, but they don't have any of those things. And the one that I'm looking online is totally different. It, it's just arranged differently. Instead of having these letters, it's got numbers. And anyways, we're not ready for that yet. So, Shouldn't okay. all the select board be looking that over? Yeah. yeah that's the whole that's why we, we thought that we would get together. And Well, that was Michael and my suggestion. Michael's suggestion, actually. And you can disagree if you want. And we can all sit down and go through it line by line. If you'd, if you'd rather, Peter and Chris. In a formal meeting or just, yeah. just an ad hoc? Well, it'd have to be a meeting if we're all going to do it. So. The ending result is your three signatures. Yep. On that policy with the right. LCT. But there's a lot of a lot of just housekeeping things there that. So, um, what are we proposing for a, to, uh, a time to do that? We would have to do it next week. Well, uh, Peter's not going to be here. Well, next I week. can do if you if you'd let me do it remotely, I'd, I'd participate. But I won't be here physically. Okay. Well, I think that we. We'll, we don't have a lot of time to get the policy together. Here we do. I mean, um, we got to do it right. So the thing that is crunching at me is uh, the CPA audit wants to refer back to our policy, and we can't. Yeah. We don't have that yep. complete policy. So. Mm -hmm. so that you'd like to see that before the uh, fiscal year is out. So <laughs> the CPA, out of the 38 things they have requested from me is the personnel policy. Mm -hmm. They need something to fall back on this. Your your Bible, your... Mm -hmm. Well, we're still operating off the personnel policy that we have approved in the past. But their things to compare it against is going to be the minutes. Yep. And then what I do is going by that. So it's yeah. just, yeah. So the next, the next meeting is on, the, on July 11th. We can't wait that long. What? Why because not? after the fiscal year? Um, I feel like it would be problematic to wait that long. But if that's the best we can do, well, that's what we can do. I mean, we can have a formal meeting, um, but we got to set a time. Um, 
I can't do it on the 28th, but I can do it um, through the rest of the week. Well, that's only at least two days. All right, let's put it on the agenda for the next actual <laughs> meeting. Which would be on the 11th. On the 11th. Okay. And make sure that we get copies of the of the updated draft. Well, it was a smoke Was. Okay, we can go through line by line if you want. Well, I feel like we ought to look at it together. Well, you know, like I said, we have a lot of stuff that's just spellings and capitalizations and things like that. But there are a few things that need a decision, and those are the things that would need a decision. <laughs> but <clears throat> Michael just thought it would be nice to have a cleaned up copy to pass along to you and then have the, uh, I mean, he could, you know, whatever. If you don't want to do it that way, we have to. Well, how about we start with a cleaned up copy? We could do that. And move from there. And do you have cleaned up copies? Nobody has a cleaned up. I thought I thought you had some something that was showed. These some. are mocked up. They have lines through them. Um, it's still in the works, but yeah, this is what I have. Well, that would be helpful to have that in advance. If you'd... Well, that's the one that Michael sent around by email. Right. Must be if that's. Has it got all it's the, uh, the ongoing? It's the ongoing draft. Right. So that there's was... changes. There's underlines. There's stuff crossed out. Right. That was the one that the. Previous select board worked on. Yeah, and that's never, one and I'm never approved. And it keeps getting pushed back. All right. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, we'll tend to this, and uh, we'll make sure we we'll admit. We'll make well, sure I guess we'll have to look at two of them side by side. Then we'll have to look at the VLCT one and this one. That would be fun. I don't understand why the VLCT one that he sent me is so different. It's just set up different. Everything is a numbered section. And there's a big table of contents with all the the numbers on it. They want to keep the job. They have to change it. <laughs> uh, well, there is a table is, of contents here. Uh, is it? How, how much are we beholden to VLCT to do, you know, to... They follow? already approved it. Yeah, mm -hmm. they already approved it. They made their comments. They made their comments. We just have it. to put okay. them in there, and there were a few more things that needed to be decided. Okay. All right. Um. Other agenda items, other adjustments... Under other business, I have a little report about the Ainsworth Road. That would be on other business or at the end? Or? Yeah, it could be. Ainsworth Road. Okay. Um, public comment. Approved bills and payrolls, we're, we're doing that. Approved minutes from the uh, mm -hmm. June 13th. Those are right here. Okay. Well, this is not the only ones that I have. minutes from the uh, June 20th special meeting. Is that, um, that, is that it? I just gave those to you. Okay. Too. It was just one page. Okay. Okay. <coughs> All right. And here's copies of the last meeting's minutes if either if you guys want one. Thank you. Yep. Maybe. Those are on what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got them. Yeah. Email. Email. Right. Yeah. Okay. Town Clerk's report. We have received the Washington County Sheriff's Department contract. That's going to go July 1, 22 through June 30, 23. They're they're raising their rate this year to 31.25, and the mileage is going to remain the same at 62.5 cents. So I will need both of these signed 
by the select board, please. I see that. Just because last year um, it said the changes on this letter, but in the contract it didn't. It didn't say. And they had to hold up our previous. I'm sure they checked it twice as well. <laughs> And then the audit that VLCT did of the town hall, mm -hmm. stating mm -hmm. that we had to have that room, that door into the utility room so it closes, we have issues. Mm -hmm. That back room is settled. Mm -hmm. That's why that door is not closing. And it has settled quite a bit. Yeah, it's, it needs serious work. More than a little. <laughs> Diane? Hmm. Oh, oh. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yep. It's interesting that it's taken this long to settle it that dramatically. I, I wonder what's what's going on. It's not the it's the addition. Yeah, well I know oh, that. Okay. I know that. Yeah. But that's been there a while. It's been there a while, yeah. yeah. Probably been twenty years or so. Hmm. So can we just fix the door? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the building's not falling down. I need some gum. <laughs> no, it's going to float away. Huh? It's going to float away. Oh. It'll keep sinking. And it's going to keep sinking. Mm -hmm. As long as that much water comes out of that store over there in four different bathrooms, it's going to keep sinking. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Miss Turkey? Mm -hmm. Um, In number 10, huh? our patrol contract, mm -hmm. the department agrees to furnish deputies for X number of hours. Length and contract amount of X number of dollars. You guys have to figure that out. Okay, so we five. can't we can't sign this tonight. Didn't we already do? Didn't we? Where are you budgeted? Put it in we the budget. Budgeted a certain amount. Yeah. Right. They I don't know how that. To I don't know how that translates to number of deputies. We just put a five thousand threshold, and believe me, they don't go above that. They don't. Do they, they, they get to it? Close to it. If they get to it. We're at fourteen hundred mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Wow. Really? <laughs> I haven't seen too many of them. But. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So Sorry for that. The Sorry to be totally frank. It used to be 10,000 and we just kept dropping it because they don't. They don't, they don't ever show up. Yeah, 5,000. They don't show up. Well, they, uh, they used to park right next to where you, that pull off is near your house and, yeah. and it was always on a Tuesday, <laughs> so you could. <laughs> a Tuesday morning. <laughs> 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 just wait 10 minutes later. <laughs> I don't think they even know how to get to West Woodbury. Yeah. No, That's where they should be patrolling oh, the most. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, interesting to see what the average speed is on, on the cameras again. So we can put the $5,000 in there, right? Yep. We right just again. can't tell them how many times they're going to visit. I, Again, that's just the same letter they send every year. Mm -hmm. We'll send them a letter saying, will you be here this amount of money? Yeah, we tried that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been done. Contracts supposed to work both ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, they don't make a commitment. <clears throat> Do we need them? Mm -hmm. Do we need them? Yes. Callis doesn't even have a sheriff. As much as they show they? up, I don't know if it's worth it. No, no. Well, we're, not, we're not paying the five. We're, we're only paying what they use. Mm -hmm. We're not paying five thousand dollars flat fee or anything. We're still paying by the hour. Then the other thing with the town hall, if um, if there is a town function going on and somebody says yes, you can use the town hall, you really need to let me know so I can put it in my calendar so I don't rent it out for that day. Yeah. Because I heard through the grapevine that the library is using the town hall old home day. I'm shocked. I thought for sure I talked to you about that months ago. Nope. Huh. Well, Just luckily it wasn't was rented out. Uh-huh. I guess I should have made it in writing. What's today, June? I guess. So you think you did? You should have. So you're saying that whoever you you want to know 
whoever's using the uh, town hall. Is that you? Uh, that, that is does always. Policy? Policy. Yep. Oh. An absentee ballot has mm -hmm. already going out today. Oops, sir. And Steve Murphy <coughs> called me the other day and requested that the town purchase the newest volume of Robert's Rules for the meetings. Does he know what one we have? Yeah, ours is updated. Okay. Yep. And it um, looks like it would be someplace like $30 for the book. Do you need a, a motion to do that, or is that just, just normal? Do it. Huh? See, why don't they just do it? Just do it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anything else, Robin? No, that's what I got. Thank you, Robin. Yes. Brandy, anything? Mm. Lots of goodies. All right. For payroll for the last two weeks, $6,387.09. Accounts payable. Oh, where's Tegan? She's a crow. I just realized Tegan's not here. No, she's not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Miss Brandy, could you repeat that number? I'm sorry. Yeah, $6,000. $387.08 for payroll. Um, AP, not to scare you, but $88,242.56. Out of that $88,000, $64,840.43 are prepaid expenses that are due July 1. So once I close out the fiscal year, open up the new fiscal year, I'll be making journal entries to wash out that 64,000 we've already spent um, carrying over. Mm -hmm. um, cash receipts, we took in. And you're carrying forward too? You're carrying forward the difference? So what was, it, what was the numbers? Uh, 64,000 yeah. out of the, the 88, 88 yeah. is for next fiscal, oh, next so, fiscal year okay, expense. Okay, a big point, yeah. Um, Cash receipts, $1,047.10. I made a transfer of $90,000 from the money market over to checking. That. Um, as you saw, I paid off the loader through CAF Financial. Mm -hmm. Yay! So, if you go to your financial statements that I gave you, the last page, which is due to, due from, Highway, $133,498.76. With the leftover, no, wait a minute. I would like to pay off the low pro. By paying off the low pro, I've talked with Union Bank, we would save $5,938.12 if paid by July 1. Mm -hmm. That would mean we would have no payments at all showing on the hurt. And when the new truck that we're discussing, mm -hmm. we would have the 138,000 that's in the hurt. Right. We would mm -hmm. have three quarters from Swenson of next year. And then the 90,000 that we already, already put raised in taxes mm -hmm. okay. would be toward it also to pay for a new truck and get rid of the 13. Okay. So that is my spiel and recommendation. Mine too. So, <laughs> say again, 38, 138,000, 133,000, no. Uh, I'm 38. Well, we still it's have, the we would okay. still have payroll. I'm doing payroll on Thursday to finish mm -hmm. out the fiscal year. And whatever bills that Greg has scattered. We have a visa that still um, I haven't received the invoice for. So there are a few things, but um, so I don't want you to make a motion of exactly that amount. Mm -hmm. um, paying off the low pro again will be how much? Uh, $95,714.76. And that'll come out of the 133. Correct. So there'll be a little left in there. We still have a deposit this quarter 
um, that Swenson won't put in until July, July like the second week third, of July. Yeah, mm -hmm. third, um, third week. So a portion of that will go back to the highway, and then another portion will go into the herb and the paving. Mm -hmm. But we'll still have incoming money. And then that 90000 that we typically transfer over to the highway for expenses, um, it can be just transferred over to the herb and voila. And we'll have money left over from the new truck. So we can start to put into a fund for the next truck. Correct. Okay. Yeah. With no payments lined up. That With no payments at all. Which is the wow. which is really the point. Mm -hmm. That we're not paying overhead on all mm -hmm. the stuff all the time. And that's a mm -hmm. fully that's with a look the um a full truck. I mean that's with a new freight line, yeah. new body, new, new plow, sander. Well, I guess now Everything. Everything. this is when you're going to give us your side of the... Well, I can. <laughs> I have a quote on the truck. Well, should we, uh, I'm sorry, I hate to interrupt, but should we wait for this until... Well, okay. okay. We, yeah. Have, yeah, so. we have, we have a, a spot in here for our truck purchase okay. discussion. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. That's, That's all right. Mm. Brandy, anything else you want to bring up? So, so for some reason, this just keeps going in circles and circles. So, Shelter Construction had done an audit at the town office. I emailed him, and he has also done an audit at the town hall. And I asked him if he could forward me the results in an invoice, please. I have a working thing back. But we do have, he has filled out that... Efficiency of Vermont, we have a number so that if we can get assistance or so the town has a. Mm. Does anybody know? Well, since it all started with Efficiency of Vermont, there is a new program that was approved by the legislature or the governor this year for funding for town building improvements. So I think it would be good to look into that before we start spending our ARPA money on that. So my thing is, before what? anybody, we have a number mm -hmm. already set up, mm -hmm. but if anybody has talked to Michael to see if he had received the town hall. I don't think we have, I don't think he has, because he told me maybe a week and a half ago that um, the shelter construction guy had asked for a few more numbers, measurements, or I don't know, oh, some, okay. some okay. kind of. Need some more so I'll facts. Just keep so. emailing him and hopefully we'll get something soon. Mm -hmm. um, other thing, Sullivan and Powers. Da, da, da. Oh gosh. Give me a little bit of a pressure raise. Um, all right. So I will not be answering the phone, waiting on anybody for the next month. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so I have a honey do list of 38 things that I have to do for Sullivan and Powers before they can come in and start. Mm. Um, so, um, that's about it. So they refuse to come up until they have a check. Well, the fiscal them? year has to be closed out, but um, so that it's digital or paper copy ready to hand over to them um, out of my Nimric system instead of them coming in and driving on my accounting system. Um, so yeah. Okay. And that's going to be done. In order for them to come and start, yeah, the list has to be as soon as possible. But the year has to be closed year has out. Year to be closed out. Yeah. Which is coming up. So. Mm -hmm. and taxes, and tax bills. So anybody, if you have new addresses, please call. <laughs> Let me know, so I don't have to Google you. <laughs> that's all. Mm. Thank you. Did you Thank want you to talk about, well, we had the MOU with the fire department under your report. Which is a select board. Select board conversation. This is the so, um, if nobody's going to bring it up, I guess there's something that says when you call additional fire departments or equipment for assistance as deemed necessary, any and all 
and any and all cost incurred in this manner shall be the responsibility of the town of Woodbury. What does that mean? Uh, Don't they have their own <clears throat> budgets and all costs and everything? Or? Well, if, if, for instance, we have a fire down the street and an excavator has to come in to push it in, mm -hmm. that's not budgeted for. It is budgeted for by the town of Woodbury. Years ago... What do you mean? If, ten, if somebody, you're talking about a fire in Woodbury, is that what you're using yep. as an example? Yep. Well, yeah, it wouldn't cost yeah. you if we used it somewhere else. But well, the burning okay, stations but, for other equipment... Other fire department. Yeah, yeah I, I have never seen a bill come from Capital Mutual Aid. No. Um, I don't know if one mm -hmm. exists, but... It's not supposed to. It's not supposed to. That's the mm -hmm. whole purpose yeah. of mutual aid. Right. I believe that was language that was asked for by this body about 10 years, 15 mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And that, well, that was also yeah, when this body set up then. a $15,000 fund that was supposed to be funded over the course of three years with $5,000 each year to be able to pay for that without breaking the bank on the mm -hmm. town either. Mm -hmm. However, I believe only one year the $5,000 was put into that account and right. then nothing else was added since. Right. So you guys have an account with five grand, right. but not the 15, not the 15 that was that supposed was, to be that was really set up. But that's what that was set up for, was for that particular clause that was asked for. So, I, you know, I, I understand, and I, I never had personally had a concern with the town having to pick up extra costs for like an excavator or a truck that gets stuck and has to be towed or something like that. Personally, I didn't have a problem. But this language just says, talks about additional fire departments that come in and, well, I see it says, or the equipment for assistance as deemed necessary, but it seems to me it's saying that additional fire departments their costs would be incurred. Well, technically, call additional. For instance, we, we had a fire we were towing to the other day in Marshfield. There was 13 departments. Not all of them were part of our mutual aid. Mm -hmm. Now, they're not billing for that fire. However, mm -hmm. they could because they're not part of the mutual aid system. Mm -hmm. Like St. Johnsbury. Who's not part of The is not part of it? St. Johnsbury and Danville. Yeah. They were both toned in. Broughton was toned in. Mm -hmm. So there's three or four departments that aren't part of the capital mutual aid. Mm -hmm. Again, I've never seen one of these departments do it, but somebody could. Hmm. Could Bill for. The mutual aid is the mutual aid. You're not going to get a bill from mm. the folks that are in capital mutual aid because that's the purpose of the mutual aid. So people outside of it. If they're, they're if they're coming to us. Yep. As deemed necessary. So these are outside departments coming to town when we need the assistance. Correct. That are outside of our already established mutual aid. Correct. Yep. But this, well, this seems to indicate that any fire department that has, that incurs costs, that's just the wording is, I wish we could figure out a better way to word that. Because even if it is a fire where you don't have to call anybody else in, you still could have additional costs that are outside of your budget that the town should have to pay for. Right, and that's the other Not only, not only the when there's, yeah, that's just it makes it really clumsy here. So what's your pleasure? Should we try to, can we amend this or? Um, if we could, if we could come up with some. Chance, are you willing to let us make some amendments and send it to you? A suggestion. A suggestion. Suggested. I would then have to send it to legal counsel. Sure. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like a lot of yeah, fun. Well. And it's worked for 10, 15 years, so. Mm. So this is the one that we've established. This is the same one you sign every single year. So there's yeah. no shocks here. Nope. Right? Shouldn't be. Well, Randy, does that it got satisfy brought you? up by somebody. I don't know. Does that satisfy you? That's not up to me. I'm not putting my signature on it. No, it's no I, understand, I understand that, but in, in terms mm -hmm. of... Uh, you yeah. don't need to state which fiscal year that, that it's for. It says it right at the top. It says it at the top. There's actually no expiration date on the, on the MOUs. Oh, okay. But it does state it right at the top of the document. 
Okay. Where? There was a cover page on this. We don't have it. Oh, oh see, that's the oh, second okay. page. Yeah, this is all I have. Don't have the cover page. No. So, do we make have to move this? And uh, I don't see any reason not to sign it, so I'll make a motion to approve it by signature. Fine with me. I don't know who brought it up to begin with, but I just thought I would mention <laughs> well, it because it was brought up. Something that you guys would like to work on before the, you know next year comes mm -hmm. around, yeah. I'd be more than happy to look at it. Okay. You know, but you're going to but, with better language. Yeah. But that means you're going to incur legal fees, right? Well, we no, would incur legal fees. Friends. Well, well I mean, we, we would incur them. <laughs> we it would be on us. Well, we we could, like well, we'd have choices. to pay for it all. <laughs> yes. We're, well, we pay, we, we would figure we, it out. We, we, mm -hmm. pay for it that way. I'm sure we could come up with something. Yeah, it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like it should be that big. No. no. Especially with mutual aid. <laughs> with mutual aid, it's not. I mean, it's actually the stuff that's outside of mutual aid. It's the, that's right. actually, that's the fundamental concern. That's, that's the end. Yeah. But it's not clear in his. Well, I don't think that's what the reason for this is. I think the reason for this is for when they have to hire outside equipment, like an excavator. Yep. Okay. And, and the select board at the time was worried about other you know, areas yeah, coming in yeah. and put that um, in there as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have one draft that we would like to sign. I'm going to pass that draft around. I, I scribbled on mine. Yep. Do you have so a clean this one? This is a clean draft. We're going to sign this okay, one. Okay, fine. Okay. All in. Uh, yeah, we, 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 uh, didn't we just approve it? Well, we're approve let's do it signature. again just for a good measure. all in favor. We uh, didn't say it. Aye, aye, aye. Great question. Listening to that. Yeah. Most insurance policies on your home or business have a, a built in percentage on the face value of that policy for cleanup. Why wouldn't we be sending them a bill for that if we're having to pay for it to the insurance? We are the fire department. Chance? If you, if you look at your, your homeowner's policy, yeah. mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a section in there where it says, you know, clean up and, and debris. Oh, yeah. And that's a, that's a added part of your policy. It's mm -hmm. a percentage. So why would the town be picking up those costs when they could be billing, the town or the fire department could be billing mm -hmm. the owner of the property for that? That's a reasonable question. Sure. I mean, the town is paying the bill, it's, so if they the want town to bill, they bill. So if we could, if, if if we had a mechanism to go, I think we could. We don't have a current mechanism that I know of, but it's a very worthwhile point. But sometimes you might have to do it right away. Generally speaking, to get the fire down, and the people aren't going to be getting to their. But I think a reimbursement is coming right away. Immediately. Yep. Mm -hmm. a you got to build immediately. Right. right. Yes, the town could choose to reimburse it. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be done right at that moment. So right. Mm -hmm. You could. Yeah. You just have to have something that goes to do it. So what's your pleasure? Uh, do we want to sort of uh, do some wordsmithing or changing, or uh, are we just letting this go? We're going to let this go. I, I think, and then we're going to work on it for the next fiscal year okay. and pass it over to Chance for review. Mm -hmm. And he can pass it off to town lawyers mm -hmm. and make sure that the language is good. And that, that particular line item is, uh, Sorry. Uh, in terms of that, that language assistance right here, it. Uh, item three. Chance, is that reasonable? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Just send it to me. And I appreciate you being here. Okay. Oh, you all set, Brandy? Yes. I had one other thing for Brandy here, and I talked to her about this today. I just yes, was asking her how the ARPA payments were going to be managed, and she explained that she has set up a separate fund already, and whatever comes in, um, gets noted in that fund and paid out, whether it's paid directly to an outside organization like the school district or if it's paid to Comcast for hooking up the town hall or whatever. She's already paid for the the rig that Michael bought for the Zoom meetings, right? That's already been paid? I see. Yeah. 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 
Okay, can we move on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mike. Okay, I just asked to, uh, to be put on the agenda because I have a couple of issues of concern that I, I think the select board needs to, to address. Um, one of them is uh, when we have all these zoning regulations and stuff, nobody has indicated how we're going to pay for enforcement of those regulations. I mean, we keep passing these regulations and, and then we say that the state is part of the, the solution to the problem, but the state doesn't enforce some of the town zoning regulations because it's a town regulation, not a state regulation. But my understanding is we don't, we don't have a method or I'm not even sure if we have any intent to fund those that enforcement, and I just I just wanted to get the feeling of what the select board feels on on funding enforcement of, of regulations. Um, all I know is that years ago it was a health officer that had to do the uh, septic systems mm-hmm. and stuff in Woodbury, and that's 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 history now. Mm-hmm. So uh, um, it's the septic and what else is now taken over by the uh, state in terms of. Uh, there's two. There's two. Yeah. That's another yeah. um, issue. Shoreline. Is it shoreline? Well. Well, they don't. Yeah. We still have zoning in the shoreline area. We do, but Act 50 covers that, and that's state regulated. But we do spend money. I mean, we we hired an attorney for one case. Right, but we we will do one and not another. I guess there's no consistency there. Well. How come? If. How come when uh, people go to the town clerk's office to get a building permit, they're not li- handed a list of the zoning regulations right then? Mm. That needs to happen. These people up on, well, I didn't mean to cut you off. Mm-hmm. These people up on Old Quarry Road with all the tents, mm-hmm. I moved that trailer. I went back up last Thursday. They had a car road. Mm. All of a sudden, a 17-foot camper shows up behind a pickup. Oh. And they were gonna put back it into right away between them two roads down on the end. And I told them mm-hmm. we couldn't do that, so they left for the camper. But I mean this is getting ridiculous. But I think handing them a copy of the zoning regulations and we hand them a copy of the application and that, you know, it says specifies what you have to report. You know, the setbacks, you have to show what your setbacks are well, and things like that. Well, they didn't seem to know anything about setbacks, because yeah. when I told them I had to be 65 feet from the center of that road, mm-hmm. and there wasn't 65 between, mm-hmm. feet, 130 mm-hmm. feet between the two roads, mm-hmm. they said, well, this is a hell of a town to move into. Mm-hmm. I said, well, yeah. hopefully you're going to make it better, not worse. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I mean, it, it almost seems like we're setting them up for failure. Yeah, they get a, a they get handed an application and a note that says contact the zoning administrator, and uh, we can give them a copy of the zoning ordinance. <coughs> certainly. So if Whether, I don't know if, if they don't, them, they need somebody to talk to to explain things. If they don't contact the zoning administrator, is the, is the zoning administrator informed of what's going on? Well, if, not, not if, they, get the no. if they get the yes. permit back. If they get the permit if back. If they apply for a permit, yeah. But quite often people do contact them before. I would think that, that should change in the zoning administrator. It should be handing out the permit. Well, it would be nice if there was a zoning administrator in the office, too, but that doesn't, we don't have that, so. Cool. <laughs> yeah. It, the way things are going right now, we don't need one in the office because they email or nothing. What do you mean? Just what I said. The zoning in this town is amount to anything. Mm. You might just well kick it right out the door. Mm. I didn't we mean have, to cut in on you, Mike. No, well. We, we have a lot of violations. A lot of the violations are not zoning violations, unfortunately. I've got a list of about ten of them. But, but there are zoning violations. Hmm. That aren't being dealt with? I don't know. I well, I can I can tell you there's some. <laughs> it's okay. Mm-hmm. Well, let us know. Let somebody know. Well, but that's not uh, know. But <clears throat> but if they're not zoning problems, what well, he said he just said they are. 
He yeah, but you just, said you had a list of other violations. Yeah. So the other violations, who would those go to? Yeah, that's a good one. Good question. Some of them were health This is a big things. issue. I mean, some, you I mean, some of them were just do it or get off messy. the pot. I mean, uh, that's it. That's what I'm saying. You either got to start doing it or you want to throw it out because mm -hmm. it's a waste of time. I mean, we, we've got people who really sincerely try to do it and do it right. Yeah. And unfortunately, it becomes expensive for them to do it and do it right in certain instances. Whereas you get other people who just throw it up to the wind and do what they want to do and let you mm -hmm. people deal with it or in many cases not deal with it. Yeah. So it's really not fair to the, to the person who's trying to do things and right and, and paying the price for doing it right. Yeah. I mean, that's, I guess I'd, I'd leave it with, with that and let mm -hmm. you ponder yeah. over that. My other, my other reason for asking for some time is we have an issue, uh, uh, the Zoning Board of Adjustment has an issue with a, a piece of property in town uh, that is, well, I'll give you a copy of it. You've probably already seen it. That's one of the documents that really spells it all out. I'll give you a minute or two to. Yeah, we got I've read, that. I've read this. We got this You've seen already. it all? Yeah. Oh, okay. So why don't you. Well, just the, problem, the problem I have yeah. is now they're saying it's up to the Board of, of Zoning Adjustment. And I, you know, as acting chair of that now, while Skip is out, uh, I think that the my board went out the window when our zoning administrator said they didn't need a permit. Mm -hmm. And the people went ahead and, and built it without a permit based on the information that, that the applicant was provided with. You haven't heard the other side of this though. What? That, I guess we yeah. can do that. No, I mean that's what, they, that's what you would do at the hearing is he's going to say this and the zoning administrator is going to say but this is really, you know, so then you're going to have to make the choice. But the other issue is if you read through it, the reasoning, the zoning administrator, according to the zoning administrator, changed his findings was because a select board member approached him and had concerns and and that caused that application to mm. be denied. So I feel that we are being put in a situation where you people, on one hand, have an issue with the zoning administrator. The zoning administrator has an issue with you people, and now we're supposed to be the one that settles it. I, I, I don't think that's fair for you to ask. I think literally that when a person is told they don't need a permit to do what they want to do, and they go ahead and do it, which is what happened here, and spent you know a fair amount of money doing it, and then to tell them that, no, they can't do it after it's already been completed based on information that they were provided with, uh, I think that goes out the window. I think, I think this is probably something I would not be surprised to see litigated based on the information that, that we have here. And that's going to be an expense for the town. So, you know, I, I'm saying I have, for more than one reason, no intentions of bringing this up and, and dealing with it only because, number one, we don't have a quorum of members. You need Did, three. We, who, who the three? Rick. Rick has said he's going to recuse himself from it because he's friends with these people. Oh, no. Okay. <clears throat> you can wait until Skip is available. You do have 60 days. But I, I guess my question is, does one select board member have the authority? Oh, to I, it was to me, and I was responding to somebody who called and complained, and I just explained the process. What what was the process? And and he decided to go ahead and go through the process like people do in Woodbury. Quite often, people start something without a permit. We let them go through the process. It got denied, and then the board of adjustment will either well, feel you know, sympathy I, or not. That's all. But this, but and then this, Bob threw me under this, the bus. This is <laughs> this isn't as 
the the zoning the zoning administrator said go ahead and do it you don't yeah, need a permit yeah but you haven't heard him say that he actually said that I haven't heard. I, 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 I haven't that. heard him actually he, say he's he done anything. No, I don't <laughs> think he actually. He's. He told me he didn't actually say that. Well, I know, but it, that, if there was a hearing, then you'd get to get to hear that part, his part of it. Yeah. You know that. That being said, I totally understand that the the zoning board of adjustment serves at the pleasure of the select board. I also understand that the zoning administrator serves at the pleasure of the select board. Mm -hmm. So. I guess my question is, why doesn't the select board sit down with, whether it be the zoning board of adjustment or the zoning administrator, sit down and iron out these differences? With this particular situation? Yeah, yeah I think that's the way to handle it, if you want to know the truth. I think it might save the town some, some money if it, you know, opposed to going through litigation, because I can see that happening. Well, you could just, well, okay. You could, you've already got an appeal. And uh, the, the select yeah, board to throw in at this point. The, the, if you read this, the appeal was, according to the, the property owner, uh, acquired in, in a method that he wasn't happy with. I mean, that's, if, you, if you read this, that's, yeah. that's what he's telling you. I think the word coerced was used in there, if you want to know the truth. Who was what? coerced? Pardon? Who was coerced? The property owner. Oh. Uh, that's what, that's what the property owner is saying. Said, no. uh, but but saying I, I, really think, I really think that this is a, a function for the select board and the zoning administrators. Sit down mm -hmm. and, and let them figure out what's going on. I mean, well, the, the, the select board has already been interjected into this, whether they want to be or not. There was a different... Uh, roofing system there with with pipes and and awnings f over the top. Right. The 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 footprint hasn't changed in terms of what was there before in terms of that structure with a roof. And I think that's what the zoning administrator. I think now I can't tell you what the, he was thinking, but it would appear that was in the thought process. Mm -hmm. Well, how is this going to get resolved? Are we pursuing it or not? I, I, I would hope that the select board would sit down with whether it be, I mean, I'd be happy to be there as, as part of this, you know, the it's board of adjustment, but really, I, I don't think I've got anything to bring to the table other than what I'm, I'm showing you here. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I'm doing this is I think this could be taken care of without litigation and, and just a little bit of common sense yeah. applied to it. Could just give them a, the board could just give them a permit. And I would, well, I would hope the select board... That's sort of like shooting yourself right in the foot, isn't it? Well, the thing is, like, there are all these extenuating circumstances. <laughs> yeah. There, just, yeah. That I mean, open a can of worms like there ain't no tomorrow. Well, I know. Well, Bob's concern is that other people will think now they can do it. But... And you give them a permit, they everybody's going to think you can do yeah, it. Yeah, but... And there's a chance now that not. Bob's thinking that every time he gets a permit, he's going to be second-guessed. Mm. Not by the board. Mm. <laughs> it wasn't a decision by the board. Well, that's why I it was think a conversation that. between one board member and the owner. The owner, which is not a decision by the board at all. Just to make that clear. Well, this should be resolved. It needs to be resolved. It has to be resolved. Yep. And it should be done amongst ourselves rather than getting lawyers involved. Yep. So we probably should have a special meeting. So we have to have a special meeting for it. That's the only answer. We can't do this every time, so we need to mm -hmm. make something more clear cut. Because but, but it's every good time, that you're being transparent about every, you know, every I mean, time you're stepping up to the plate, which every, is a good thing. Every time the, there's an issue with someone with zoning. It's not the job of the select board to step in and figure it out. No, it, it, yeah. you've got to put your foot down and yeah. make everybody yeah, and, know uh, that. Mm -hmm. You know, so er, there's a reason that we have a zoning administrator and a zoning board of adjustment. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll try to fix this, and then we have to <coughs> fix the policy. That's the reality. I'm, I'm happy. And in mm -hmm. terms of, I mean, I, so you bring up a really good point about enforcement. Money for enforcement is not there. 
Nope. And people for enforcement is also not there. Right. That's another conversation, which is an important one, which we've bantied around for, well, I've only been on this board for two years, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is this is a problem. We recognize it. What we're doing about it, nothing yet. Well, I mean, there ought to be a special deal meeting on the, that. But there should be a conversation about it. I don't think anyone on this board would disagree with you for even a minute. Well, because it does involve the potential for litigation, maybe we could do it in an executive session. We'll have to start there, and then we have to bring it to the town. Well, I think the town should have we won't bring it to the town as far as whether or not we ever have zoning again? No. Oh okay. Gosh, no, that's not what I was saying. Well, you, but you're not going to bring it. If they want to spend money on... But if we want to spend money on enforcement... Yes. That is a question for the town. That put is, the, well, that's put a, it in the that's, budget. That's a, that's a budget item, and we need to put yeah, it in the town. Yeah, a budget item, sure. Yeah. Well, that's going, to, that's going to be a slippery slope, because that means you're going to have to go back and look at the history of enforcement and, and what's been going on. Mm. And I, I, I'm not familiar with that, other than it's not been stellar, that's for sure. It has well, I mean, um, it hasn't really been done. Well, years and years ago. Yeah, I mean, do I take it up on the end of Angus Road? Do I take, do I take, take down a garage? Mm -hmm. Go garage right to town road. Mm -hmm. The zoning administrator was talking about the time. He went up and told them they had to take it down. Well, God, they did it for that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it started out with good intentions. Yeah. It's just kind of slipped away. Yeah. Yeah. Need people. Well, no offense. Mm -hmm. I hear you. I know you do, because you need people. <laughs> well, yeah. and, and I don't assume the zoning administrator is reimbursed for anything he's doing. That's a, he's, it's just on his own time. He's on a he's on a stipend. He's on a stipend. He doesn't yes. get on. He doesn't get paid hourly. Yeah, it's a stipend. Which well, he may raise two years ago. And and may, might I ask what the what the stipend is? Mm -hmm. Twenty-five hundred dollars a year. Right? And I split into two. So, first six months. Well, this is this is this is <laughs> this is going to go way beyond just this particular situation. This oh, yeah. really has to yeah. be. But it's an important conversation. And it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. um, it's not the first time it's been started, but maybe this is the <laughs> catalyst that we needed. Mm -hmm. So let's. Yeah. Let's make sure that, head on. that we, we move forward with it. Okay. Well, we'll have to get all all the parties involved and see what the, what timeline or what, what, what we can figure it out and just to get this one resolved. And then the bigger one is, mm -hmm. is at another that's another issue it's altogether. A separate, it's a separate level. Yeah. But let's fix this one and then yeah. use this as a proxy to fix some bigger problems. Well, with the board permission, I'll I'll call call them and and see what what the. Just get some dates, if possible, and uh, see what. Call we... who? Bob? No, Ross. Oh, he shouldn't be involved. He shouldn't be involved. Oh, no. How can he not? They have to. Well, then you might as well have a hearing if you're going to have the public involved. I mean, he has said what he said pretty clearly. You know, if the town wants to get together with their own staff and talk about it, then that's a little well, different that, than having a public hearing. We have to decide, but. You know, I, I don't think you can leave, I personally don't think you can leave out the petitioner who's a, the one who implemented this whole he, thing. He submitted an appeal then. Why not just go to the appeal? And then you can... Well, there's some of us who don't so. think appeal should have been necessary. Oh, well, that's not your choice. <laughs> it's the process. It's just the process. Well, it's what trans it, it, what's transpired in advance. Yeah, so if I got you to where right. you are now was right. the issue. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got to get this figured out. All right. Well, if nothing else, it needs to be a learning cycle, so the learning curve, so it don't happen again. Mm. Yeah, really. People should get things in writing. Well, <laughs> and, and and we don't want to let this ride without without being dealt with, because as you say, it could get it could get messy with litigation. Yeah, I think if I can make a suggestion, I think probably if you get all parties together. One of the first things that should be discussed is, uh, for lack of better terminology, 
waiving that everybody agrees to waive the time restrictions on appeal and all that process so you can sit down and have a decent conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, mean, I think that ought to be given some consideration. You no, know, it's 60 days gives you quite a lot of time, but yeah, that's not a big deal. 60 days from what date? The day it was appeal was filed, which was probably less than two weeks ago. So you're down to 45? No. I just don't have that out there. Yeah. Well, how are we going to address this? Do we want to address this afterwards, later, to get, I don't know, we've got, we've got to get some kind of, uh, um, um, plan, some emotion, uh, uh, you know, we can't let this sit idle or, you know, without being attended. Um, and I do, I do think Ross, uh, uh, he should be there, um, just to get it out in the open. All right, well. Do we, well, have to, do we, we, have, have, do we want to have a little executive session later to, in the meeting? Warn, and decide? Yeah, let's, let's warn, do it at the end. Okay. Do we have to warn a, how, how long do we have to warn a, a, a hearing? A special meeting has to be warned, I think, 24 hours. Okay, and what about a hearing? What? A zoning hearing. So many hearings probably, I don't know, 10 days at least. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll discuss this after the meeting and go into executive session and, and uh, make some decisions where we're headed. But thanks for bringing it up. Anything else on that matter? Thank you, Mike. Thanks. Thank you. It's ARPA time. <laughs> so I was thinking that it would be nice to start spending a little bit of this money on some of the projects that we don't have any questions on, like the, the pavilion, the outdoor classroom that you and Michael have been working on for a long time. Why can't we just kick in that $15,000 and you could get that started this summer? That's fine. It all, it all is all going through the central office, you know, through the school. Um, yeah. Um, which is it's just a little bit more bureaucracy and, and, and uh, whatnot. But that's, that's the way it's been set up. Um, mm -hmm. But they, the key issues which Michael has, has stepped into is to make sure that we have, um, the town has, a say in terms of uh, scheduling yeah. Of, yeah, events. Yeah, that's that, in the that, MOU. That, 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 mm -hmm. But that originally wasn't. Mm -hmm. um, so that's been addressed. So, yeah. so uh, Laura, do you object to us starting to spend some of that money? I don't, know. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I felt, feel like I can't really weigh in on what you guys decide on yeah. in so far as our committee itself had different yeah. opinions about mm -hmm. things, so I can't really mm -hmm. represent the whole group. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we didn't. We decided not to go too far deep into the weeds of trying to figure out what all of our opinions were about it, because mm -hmm. when the guidelines were set aside, mm -hmm. that really left it to, you know, is is it a viable application? You know, does is there a plan in place that looks mm -hmm. like it's you know makes sense? Mm -hmm. And aside from that, then it's really opinion, and we're not elected officials. Mm -hmm. So we didn't feel like we wanted to continue discussing opinions mm -hmm. um, because that <coughs> could have gone on for years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, because yeah, we just all are yeah. people with different opinions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did this survey, in terms of um, your, your, your response to the, the survey, what was the takeaway from that? I think that roads and broadband were the two that kind of stood out on the survey. And then the rest of them, it was a little bit up to interpretation. For example, so there were 13 items that people were ranking at, with a 1 to 10 scale. So there were items that received you know, no votes um, because you only had 1 to 10. So some, as we went through the results, some of them received more overall votes in a 1 to 10. So more people thought it fell in their 1 to 10 top votes. 
But then there were other ones that didn't receive as many total votes, but received more in their top one to three. Mm -hmm. So I guess it depends on how you want to interpret it at that mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. And there's many ways to interpret that those numbers. I interpret them just looking specifically at number of overall votes that they received from people who sent back their um, surveys. And then, which of the items fell in people's top one to three? Just because I thought that was interesting to put it that way. Mm. Um, but so after they roads nice and broadband, uh, yeah, I know, I have that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, after roads and broadband, then it was a little bit of a: Are you looking at total the number of people that really felt like it fell in their top ten, or are you looking at the mm. people who thought it was really great in their top three? Mm. And that those two things, um, you know, it sort of petered out from there mm -hmm. in terms of how it kind of shined as far as <laughs> being helpful. Nice for, work, though. Um, and then there was, you know, there was a question, you know, as there always is in, in any kind of survey, whether people were fully understanding what we were trying to ask them in some of the questions. Mm -hmm. Like, for, for example, I thought, I felt like in the end that personally I thought more people would vote for our, um, hazard pay for people that had put themselves in harm's way during during COVID, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like it's possible that the way we wrote that item, that people didn't know what mm -hmm. hazard pay meant. Mm -hmm. So hard to mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. but that's that's a question mark in my mind. Is you know would would have would have there mm -hmm. been more people that voted for that because I think that's something that when I talk to people, mm -hmm. people feel like is important. Mm -hmm. So. Is there, is there a policy issue in regards to the uh, ARPA funds offsetting um, um, when you speak about roads? I mean, we have a budget for roads. I mean, um, is I don't think that's an additional money. Was that supposed to offset the taxes for, for or the public support for roads? Or I think the question of offsetting taxes falls for a lot of the items. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. I think that that's a little bit... Um, vague and maybe a good one to to talk to Vermont League of Cities and Towns about um, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So I did ask them a lot of questions, but I wasn't able to hash out all of the questions that I had, and I mm -hmm. think that might be sort of more of a... But we didn't actually get any... Well, we did get one or two applications on road stuff, but they were not... It would. I feel, mm -hmm. I believe that roads folks would need to put in an application if they wanted money yeah. for roads. Mm -hmm. it, it's mm -hmm. not... It's, it, it, you know, my, in my um, understanding and speaking with Vermont mm -hmm. League cities and towns, like it, taxpayers can't just ask for and have no right. entity that is going to be responsible for. Um, then it's just a suggestion. It's mm -hmm. not really an application. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those could be passed along. No, I felt like it was an interesting information, mm -hmm. and people support you know the roads crew in saying that they like to see more money spent so that they can mm -hmm. do the things that they think are important, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't think that there's, that, that those are, those are real mm -hmm. applications mm -hmm. that can be, but then it's, it's just an interesting consideration. Do you need anything from us? Um, no, I, I, because, you know, until next year, I don't think there's really more that we're doing at this point. So, um, I just came to this and I thought that it might be helpful to clarify any further questions that you may have, but um, I don't, I think it's kind of in your hands at this point. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the other thing that I was thinking we could start spending some money on is the uh, town hall Wi-Fi and hotspot that uh, Brandy had put in for 570 but it's really up to about $800 now. And the Comcast is going to come. What's Thursday. happening with the cleanup of the bat? The what? The cleanup of the bats over there. Oh, the bats, that's done. It's that's done. done. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what, did that come out of the, just the regular maintenance money? We had a grant for it. No, I think we came, no, I think we just I brought tried. it out of the. Oh, that didn't work. Huh? Yeah, and I don't feel like that one rose really high on people's list, but it definitely falls under what Vermont League of Cities and Towns feel are important jobs for Oh, you mean the town hall improvements? Yes. For, yeah, that's it what I think. It was not, uh, you know, really exciting. <laughs> it's for a lot of people. I feel like it's exciting, but... Um, well, it's, it's the one thing that's kind of 
COVID related. It's COVID know? related. It's very COVID related. And it's right along the lines of, you know, when the guidelines mm-hmm. were more strict, it was yeah. falling that. But, but if there's more, if there is some money available for weatherizing town buildings, so, you know, mm-hmm. from somewhere else, that would. Too good. bad Michael isn't here because I think he's on, on top of that. But because that's well, an historic building, he hasn't got the, he hasn't got all the figures yet from the energy auditor. So, but there is, there's, they're trying to preserve the, the do everything the building. right, doing things right, in the right way. Yes, historic preservation, right? right. Not doing anything. Yeah, that's it is. Hurt things. And creating a safe space. It has been designated. Right. <laughs> All right, well. So I guess I would make a motion then that we approve uh, giving our granting $15,000 of ARPA money to OSUESD, um, whatever, or um, towards the Definitely. outdoor classroom, and $800, up to $800 uh, for the town hall Wi Fi. Second motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Most Maybe you should use some of that money to figure out why that addition's going south. Yeah. That'd we be a good. That. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if we're going to preserve the building, I you think probably ought to get foundation under it first. Already, I think this yeah, this thirty thousand dollars that we put in was was too little because some of the numbers hadn't come in. Some of those numbers still haven't come in. The numbers from the uh, historic preservation expert that we hired didn't come in until after this was due. And uh, they're quite a bit more than what I expected for things like storm windows and <coughs> insulated panels around the bottom of the, um, around the outside of the uh, foundation. But anyways. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that yet. To, that's yet to be dealt with, right? Right. There are a lot of a lot of other things here that we have. Well, that settling on, is so. a big issue. That's got to be dealt with. I mean, yeah. yeah. And if <laughs> if it is what you say it is related to the uh, what's it, the adjacent, uh, um, that's messy because that property is mm. just change hands. Mm. To the renters? No. No? No. Oh, I thought it was. Anyway, okay. Off subject. All righty. We're done with ARPA. Thank you. On to truck purchase. We've talked about that. We're pretty much... Um, yeah, I'm hoping that you're going to follow Brandy's advice and pay the Lopro off. I have a quote on a new truck. To it the cabin chassis for a new Freightliner with a 5, 505 Detroit in it, an automatic transmission, all the bells and whistles that we need is come to $147,658. dollars $147, And we have the 2013 that we are looking to trade in and as of next year when everything is sugared off they'll give us 33,000 for it. Mm -hmm. So that brings the total of the truck down to 114,300. That's just for the cabin chassis? Cabin mm -hmm. chassis. And then for the wing snowplow the side load body for the sand, you know, the body inside the body, it picks up the chain, sander, mud flaps, toolboxes, lights, everything is 91,400. It gives you a total of 2,500. 2,205. And what? 700. 700. And that would include painting too? The Everything. Yeah. That's a complete truck delivered right here. Okay. And this jives with you? But I'd like Believe to me, I've been talking to her quite a while. <laughs> it's, the first, it's the first chance this town's had to get back on its feet here. Mm. 
a long time. Eliminating the interest. Yes. Would make a huge difference. Getting rid of the interest would make such a huge difference. I agree with Brandy, though. I'd like the low pro to get paid first. Oh, me too. Well, there's, but there should from still, what she said, she's should. got money enough to pay that off. And yeah. by the time we get to 90000 for the next year, we still should have uh, somewhere around 30000 30, left 000. in the herf. Yeah, 30000 mm -hmm. in the herf is the best I can. Mm -hmm. my, I don't know. I don't know if my math is so right, I, it's about 30 k I can't see how it's not a win situation all the way around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And still voting, hypothetically, keeping the 90000 transferring it over to raising taxes, it just goes straight to the herf. It's just building for the next piece for of For the equipment. next piece right. of equipment that we buy. And okay. that needs to happen. Because mm -hmm. both of them 10-wheelers were actually purchased in the same Near year. The one's same a 13 and time. one's a 14. Mm -hmm. yep. But they're... Mm -hmm. Basically got the same mileage, same mm -hmm. wear, mm -hmm. and it's my plan that what I'd like to see the town do is the the prior slab board and I had talked about it while Chris was there is that the next one is going to have to hang around until we can pay up for another one. And which means it's going to have to get sent to Charlie Boyce every fall before plowing and have it gone through and make mm -hmm. sure it's safe and mm -hmm. good to go and and that's an expense. Mm -hmm. But but do we do we do a, a, a truck replacement fund? Uh, is that is that something we do uh, annually or is that? Uh, well, the HERF fund is designed, Brandy can tell you better than I can. That's but what it's designed for. The, that's what the HERF fund's designed for, and there's supposed to be $90,000 a year going into that HERF fund for equipment replacement. Mm -hmm. so and it's been going in there to make payments. But it would be better if it was going in to just buy a truck. It would be a solid. Mm -hmm. it's, it wouldn't be the leftover after the payments are made. Everything would be paid off. It would just be 90000 boom, done. 90000 mm -hmm. done. So in another years three years, that, we can get it. Perfect. But there's other stuff we probably need, like... Yeah, but we've already... one ton? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the 550 is being worked on, It's right? being worked on, but yeah. It's, it's not going to last... It's, 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 yeah, it's not going to last 2012. Yeah, it's not going to last forever. Yeah, so, last no, but we said if we, for whatever it is, $8,000, we get it at least a year or more, yeah. Yeah, probably two. Yeah, I, but that's a... A good investment, but it's something to be put on the back burner that in the mm -hmm. next... Mm -hmm. Two, three years, you're going to have to do something with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll make a motion. Please. To pay off the low pro immediately and use all leftover funds for the direct purchase of a new 550. No. no. Excuse me. A new, uh, excuse me, new freight liner. Yeah. At the cost of 205000 Seven hundred dollars. Okay. All equipped, ready to go. Mm -hmm. All equipped and ready to go. Correct. Oh yeah. yeah no, she's. The only thing she'll need to be done is loaded. <laughs> Cast up. A decal, maybe. <laughs> oh well, probably. <laughs> Unless she want them incognito. <laughs> so that's my motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Nice job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. And are we going to return to personnel at some other point? Yes, we're going to come yes. back to personnel after we've mm -hmm. had a chance to review the most we're of We're going to have a special meeting. But uh, Chuck has a highway report that he's doing. Oh, yeah, i got some things. Uh, old Corey Road is one of them. The people up there with the tent. They're going to be a problem. And there's another problem. I haven't addressed it. There's a chicken house up there chicken coop that some woman's been living in, girl, woman, whatever, that is actually in the town right away. But she has been in mental therapy or in a hospital for mental problems or something. So I haven't pushed it. But where's this look where's this look? The old Cory Rose on my course. Yeah. And then up in Westwood Bay, I don't know if you heard anything about it, but yeah. What's the deal with them cones up there? Sitting right in the middle of the road. Well, those are the people mm -hmm. that have other things going on as well. But uh, we've heard about it, but I don't know what. I haven't heard about it. 
Well, a guy was up there with a Jeep. Uh -huh. Run over a cone that was in the road, and the guy came out and threw a beer bottle at him. Really? Where was that? At the, where they have all the animals and yeah. stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So the guy backed up and fixed him right up. Two of them, didn't he? Three of them. Yeah, okay, yeah. Three what? Cones? No, kick the shit out of three guys. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well then. There you go. <laughs> That's going to make good press. Now West Woodbury. Yeah. Well, well, Wayne Dalton ended up going to jail over it. Oh, he's the, oh, that was that one? With yeah. The, oh. And it's because of the cones in Woodbury's Town Road. Oh. Yeah. So huh. I think something really needs to be done up that way. If them sheriffs are going to get paid, they really ought to find their way to West Woodbury. Mm. And I ain't talking about four wheelers either. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. How does that? Who? 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 <laughs> we need to talk. Who does that? We need to. <laughs> the select board needs to directly contact the sheriff's office and explain. That well, I think that, it's that, that, going that, right back that. to the select board and needing to send these people a letter saying this ain't cool. I, I think that's where it needs to start. Mm -hmm. okay. That is a good start, but I also think that. The enforcement level is something that we can't do. We that, can enforce it. Right, but you've got to make them aware of it before you go up and try to enforce it. Yeah, and, and when you make them aware of it, you probably ought to make them aware of everything that's going on because they may want to send two officers. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Would it be sheriffs or would it be the state police that go up there? It has to be sheriffs first. Oh. We have to bring the Washington County Sheriff in. That's our contract. But they have limited authority. Letter, why not have them serve the letter to them? Yeah, it's possible. State police will only come in emergency situations after the sheriff's office has been called. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it should be. Mm -hmm. They should have a letter sent to them as a registered letter, preferably but from sheriff department, but at least by you folks, and then get the sheriff department involved. Well, if it's. Uh if you're going to send a registered letter with a signature, some people don't accept them. So exactly. That, um, there are some people up there who don't even accept their mail. Um, tax yeah. bills and the like. Well, but you got to follow. Mm -hmm. You know. Got to go through the process. Yeah, process. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the, well, this isn't the first time we've heard about this. Yeah, well, it's, it's been a whole problem. Worse up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mm. Okay. Um, do you ever go down? Do you ever go down that end of the road, Mike? What's that? Do you ever go down to that oh, neighborhood? Yeah. You yeah. do. How far can you go? <laughs> you can go all the way through. You, go, you, you can drive down. Drive down, down the way yeah. you want to. <laughs> so they can't even jeep. Yeah. yeah. Mm. My wife and I did like two weekends ago. Mm. Mm. It's, not, it's a nice little ride. Yeah. Yeah, ain't that all. A lot of history but up there. This, yeah, there is. But um, it's really too bad for somebody going out through trying to mind their own business, have beer bottles thrown at them. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. Because a cone setting in the road. Mm -hmm. That should be addressed. Mm -hmm. All right. Just <clears throat> piling it on for us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But we should, we should address this and, and these other matters too. We can't. We just can't turn a blind eye to it. Okay. Anything else? No, we're still plugging along. I haven't heard anything from. No. So we will look to you in terms of personnel, and and you'll let us know and when that should be on the on agenda. What's on the we've got a we've got a special meeting set up for the 18th. The 18th. Is it? The week you come back, the, the Monday after you come back. Mm. Yep. Yep, I got it. Okay. 6 p.m. 18th. Yep. Okay. He's on my list. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Been crazy this week. Sure. Well, all mm -hmm. weekend. Uh, mm -hmm. Rep 98 ball, but mm -hmm. 
He's Greg hasn't with. had to, has hasn't had an op, his operation yet, has he? No, he goes on the thirtieth for uh, MRI. Yeah, that's right. He that's the first thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, make a motion to adjourn. Uh, adjourn. Are we done? Oh yeah, I guess we are. John, didn't you have something you were going to? Oh, we did. I was going to. I was going to report on the Ainsworth Road enforcement. Oh, excuse me. Um, got an email from the attorney. He said that there was a status conference, and it probably wasn't in person. But anyways, the owner said that she would. She'd been cleaning the place up, and she'll do whatever the town wants her to. And uh, he wants to set up. A site visit with me and Bob Martin and the attorney. So we're going to try to do that sometime next Who's week. Who's attorney? Oh, uh, the town's attorney. The town's attorney is Michael Tarrant. Michael and, Tarrant? Yeah. Jerry's oh. son. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Huh. In the he, same? He used to live out in the Four Corners. Jerry did, yeah. And, yeah. Beck, and Becky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he was. Michael was probably was born here, I think. I remember that. Yeah, I was working on the house when she when she had that? that child. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's ago. our attorney, so mm. we're going to do that probably sometime next week. Well, you're on that person. Ryan, do we know if they have water or septic or anything? <laughs> we don't. I was hoping to find out. I some understand of that not. Stuff. Or electricity. Well, we don't know that. So it'll be interesting. That's why I want to go and find out. Just. I mean, she did say that some of the couple, couple of the cars there belonged to her ex, who is no longer in the picture. But we'll we'll just see how many there are. Call just, all I mean, that was a, that was basic. Get what? Call all metals. I'd be glad to come get them. They, uh, well, they, they really do without. They don't need a title or anything. They just. You know. Scott, you want me to call them? <laughs> You'll be gone tomorrow. <laughs> Well, you might as well tell them to go across the road and uh, take yeah. a dozen there. Watch stop shopping. <laughs> Bring a whole. That'll be payday for all my little Bring cycle. a whole crusher. Right <laughs> so yeah, that's all. Hybrid Electric's been trying to put a lien on that property. Which, Which one? The. The Ainsworth, Ainsworth Road property. I thought they but, just said there was no power. But. It's against the previous owners. Oh, so, no. right. Was that Barley's, or did somebody have it after that? Somebody had it after There's that. There's been two other property owners since then. Mm. Yep. Mm. It's lost. Mm. In, it's the entire thing is lost in translation. <laughs> the entire thing is what? Lost in translation. Oh, that was really? a good movie, by the way. I can't believe they're still trying to get a, a lien against somebody who's long gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've been gone, what? Over a decade. Oh, I would say at time. least three years anyway. Oh, longer oh my God. Yeah, yeah the place time. was abandoned for... It's, it's been like, 10 years? It's a decade. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my cousins. Wow. Yeah, and they're trying to put a lien on oh, against them. That's right. That's your neighborhood, huh? So I <laughs> sent them all the paperwork <laughs> no. showing where it was foreclosed on. Oh, and oh good. Yeah. So it's, I don't know what hydroelectric is going to do now. <laughs> is it a lot? <laughs> Maybe three hundred dollars. Really? God, they're still. Yeah, what are we? Maybe. Mm. Yeah, I'll see. So Diana, when you go over to that site visit, mm -hmm. are you bringing a health officer with you? Mm, we don't have a health officer. Oh, I thought we did. No, we don't have one. We don't I have an emergency. Be the health officer. You are. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Be an experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little too close to the matter. <laughs> Another all neighbor. kinds of matter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're being conned. <laughs> so did you guys have something else? Well, I was just curious. I, I thought on the agenda it had mentioned our invoice as well. I wasn't sure if that was being discussed or... It's paid. Uh, <clears throat> we approved it in the... We approved it in the in okay. the regular. Well, I just saw it on bills. the agenda. I wanted to make sure. Oh, yep. yeah. Okay. No, okay. no yeah. it, we said fire in, department invoice and MOU. Oh, yeah. But the invoices okay. were but the invoices. immediately approved as soon as we Perfect. went through the regular <laughs> regular warrants. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chance, if you're late on that. And the MOU was the discussion yep. that we already had. Yeah. So the MOU, I understood. The, in, the invoice, the invoice mm. moved through just Perfect. with the regular warrants. Mm. I'm good to go. Thank All you. All right. Mm. 
But keep looking, everybody. We need an emergency management director. We need a health officer. We need a lister, board of adjustment. Lister. We need a lister. We, we need, need a board of adjustments. Board adjustments. We, the planning commission is pretty well set. But, uh, I'm sure there are some others I'm forgetting here. Oh, an auditor. Oh, we need yeah. auditors. An auditor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm now going to make a motion to adjourn. Yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank we'll you all. Into, wait, we got to go into our executive session first. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Anybody? Motion to put motion to go into an executive session. Anybody, are you, uh, anybody supposed to stick, uh, st uh, stick around? or? No. I don't think we need anybody. Thank you. Unless you want Mike to stay, but... <laughs>